Welcome back to Wedding Wednesdays. Oh, oh. <laughs> So today we're meeting with Alicia and Michelle from Before I Do Events. Well, it just so happens that Keisha took a position in Santa Barbara. Now that's not exactly worlds away, but it's a seven and a half hour drive each direction. It's not exactly ideal for either party. So the last few months, mom and I have been kind of doing these things on our own, but believe it or not, there's still a lot to do. So we needed to find another wedding planning company to come in fourth quarter, help us pull everything together and really make this wedding absolutely beautiful and amazing. Thank you for coming in and saving the day. I've seen your website and I think your stuff is absolutely incredible. So Alicia and Michelle are here. Yay! But there's no time to waste. So we're gonna put them to work immediately. The next eight weeks are gonna be action packed, I'm thinking, right? Yes. And you're ready? Yes. Ready. And we're gonna get started because today the lighting guy who I have not met yet is coming. Now when it comes to lights, that's definitely Rebecca's category. She's a little bit obsessed with lighting. Hello, hey, how are you? come on in. Thank you, nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. I found these people on Instagram, which is fabulous. His name is Kelly and he looks like Jesus. And he owns San Diego Social Lights. You're coming in and you're like really saving the date. Now you of course are going to make the day shine. Yeah. That's right. As yeah. only Jesus can. <laughs> we got approved to start setting up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Is that amazing? Yeah. I know. See? This is a huge help for us because we have so many different vendors coming into this thing. We've got Archive, we've got the flowers, we've got the lighting guy, we've got the, the caterers and the dishes and the goblets and I mean we're gonna have sofas, okay? Oh, and pews. Don't forget the pews. I mean, two hours, that just was not gonna cut it. I have a question. What is the most amazing lighting thing you've ever done and do you have pictures of it? I sure do. And whatever it is, I want double that. So, Shara, correct me if I'm wrong, my, my last recollection is the center section is the bar. Yes, except we think there might be a problem with that. The center is the smallest section. We just have to figure out exactly how big the bar is and make sure that we have enough room for guests to line up and to congregate. When you get here, you're not looking into this opening where the mm -hmm. guys are working. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the bar here. But people, everyone will see where the guys are working as soon as they go from the lowest level up to the highest level where the food will be. Right, but yeah. you know what they're going to think? That is an awesome light fixture. And then they're going to think, how am I supposed to get to the third level? Because there are lines of people aisle to aisle, and now I have a f wall that I can't get past. Wall schmall. Look at that light fixture. Mm -hmm. that be the wow factor? Wait, wait, did we decide where that would go? You still think that it's going to go in the middle? Mm -hmm. Are right. you denying right. the fact that there is a huge issue there? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I, I want them to be as long as possible. So those only look to be about like eight foot. If you, let's say, I mean, I want it to drop in. If, to me, lighting that's amazing is when it comes into your space. Right. So what? I would like it to be as yeah, low as possible, so but low. still as high as possible. Yeah. Jesus has this conspiracy theory about this photo. It's my favorite photo, found it, love it, and I think we can do it. But he thinks it's fake. I believe that they maybe did it with a circle, but that means that the guests would have to walk through that every time. No, or do you think no, they got no, rid no. Of it's this? a half circle. The lights hang between the guests and the bride and groom. I mean, doesn't it look so magical? Yeah. Is that simple? So, why don't, <laughs> that's we, what we, why want. don't we jump back to cocktail hour and take oh, okay. out that space real quick? See, and that's why we need move. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this one gets off because of the Because she is so ADD. <laughs> right. How are people gonna know exactly where to go? So this is gonna be like, right, we're leading on there, and you've got ideas for that. Yes. I'm okay. thinking more like strings. Have like <gasps> just like different people. people. So yes, so yes. they're stationed, and all you're just being greeted by beautiful music along like the that. way. I so like so this so girl. Good. I know. <laughs> where have you been all yeah. my life? <laughs> and have you ever song. done anything like this before? No. Oh, I like no. that too. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the ballroom and the location for the party. Maybe we do the semicircle 
in between those middle doors literally were draping off half of the ballroom. I would just like it to look like there's falling stars from the ceiling. I'm just saying that this is a little bit out of the ordinary to try to do. But Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> wow, she used I'm your real name. You. I mean, that's what <laughs> this is all of, about. Would you expect anything less? The inn is like, hey, I don't care what you do to my ceiling, I can do a million yeah. of those all yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Just out of my... Right, there's no so, physical way yeah, to make like, it Yeah, I can't any. make it happen without someone else's yeah. permission. I feel like we're in really good hands with Michelle and with Alicia. So, Kelly, for yeah. what I understand from you is you can do anything and are willing to do anything. Yeah. And of course, Jesus. It's a good thing. This wedding is coming. In fact, I have goosebumps right now. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. It's coming like a locomotive. <laughs> it will be the most amazing wedding ever on the face of the planet. Yes. And that's yes. how much I trust you. And I will see you later. Yes. <laughs> Out of here. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today. I still have goosebumps, just so you know. Hey, join me for the design sessions, which are coming up very soon. You can access them through my uh, website. It's robesanddesign.com. And know that we the next topic we're gonna cover the last Saturday of the month is Christmas decorating. That's why I have flocking all over me because I'm actually doing it from my home here today. So, not only is that wedding coming, so is Christmas. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Can we do one more? Because I feel like... I don't know if I can get the goosebumps again.